What first date behavior is a deal breaker? Mystery of stuff. Well, on one first date I had, the dude told me he used to be in a gang and killed six people, drove us into oncoming traffic, told me that there were three loaded guns in the car, this ride lasted at least 45 minutes there and back, and told me he was bipolar and was not taking any medication for it. But the deal breaker was when he stopped to get coffee at Taco Bell. Once, I was talking to this girl online, and things were going pretty well, so we decided to go for dinner. I showed up to the place 5 minutes early, so I waited. And kept waiting. Texted her 15 minutes after we were scheduled to meet, but didn't get a response. Waited for another 45 minutes then left. She messaged me later saying that she wasn't there because she lives in Indonesia. I live in New Jersey. Starting the date by saying that you've cleared your entire weekend, just in case this date works out and I'm free. No pressure. Or bringing his overnight bag into your house when he picks you up. Not a big deal, it's whatever, what do you mean, I should leave? Ha! Reminds me of a date I had with a woman out of town. I told her I got a hotel room in her town and invited her to dinner. I had no hotel room, but I didn't want there to be weird awkward pressure. Ended up spending the night at her place. The next day, I confessed to never getting the room and she said something like, no shit. I knew you didn't have a room. You were just giving giving me an out if I wanted one. Which I appreciated. Or something very close to that. This was many years ago. Smelly, greasy hair, and no effort in appearance. If the first date isn't important enough for you to even shower, then how important will the relationship be to you? This wasn't a first date, as she had told me she just wanted to be friends after that, but we did one friend date after, and this basically killed it. Let's go to Chic Filet, order something for herself, and then ask me if I want anything yeah I'll just have a shake. We get to window and she turns to me I'm kinda broke and don't have that much on me can you pay? I would be fine with it if she had just asked me before if I minded buying her something, but to phrase it like she was the one paying and then switching it up on me. I'm just being used. Making me do all the work, conversation wise. I don't mind being the lead driver, but you need to at least pull your own weight. I've been on some dates that felt more like interviews. I would try everything I could to get an actual conversation going, but they ended up as cue and as sessions. This is absolutely a huge one for me. Nerves on a first date are one thing. I completely understand being slow to warm up in the feeling out process. But it's an entirely different thing for them to literally offer nothing conversation-wise and only answer your attempts with short dead-end responses. What do you do with that? A guy where I worked was hitting on a girl on the lunch truck for over a month. She feelily said she would go out with him. So for the first date he took her to a triple X porn show. Apparently she excused herself to go to the bathroom after a few minutes and never came back. I felt so sorry for her, I would have been scared out of my mind to be with someone that off. My mom had this happen to her. She said no over and over to this guy, until finally she gave it a shot and said yes. He took her to a porno drive-in and then tried to pretend that he hadn't known and that they should stay. She absolutely refused and pitched a huge fit so he would take her home. When I ask someone out on a date, especially a first date, I expect that I will pay for the date. If it's a restaurant I don't make a big deal about me paying, and I don't care if she makes any offer to pay or not. But it is a deal breaker when I think she's assumed I will be paying and orders extra expensive stuff because she thinks it will be free to her. My buddy went on a date and the woman ordered two entrees so she could take one home for later. Brazen about it. That's just taking advantage of someone, which is absolutely a deal breaker. If someone does this, it's pretty indicative that they, for some reason, believe they're entitled to the other person's generosity and they have zero respect for it. I'm someone who will always pay for the first date, but if someone was being blatantly disrespectful like that, I'd leave them with the bill. Showed up late getting all done up, told via text, 
but was in a ratty hoodie, and her clothes smelled. Musty. Super shy, quiet, barely spoke, even when asked innocuous questions. Until the movie started. Then she wouldn't shut the fuck up, kept staring at me, and asking the dumbest questions like how'd you get so tall? Do you like movies? Showing up to the date late on cocaine, broke, and hoping I'll buy them liquor. Then expecting I'll be cool hanging at her place with her and her boyfriend because he's pretty chill. That is how my last date went. Edit, holy fuck that blew up while I was sleeping. To TL slash DR my area was under lockdown, so ID been really lonely. I live by myself. I set up a socially distant coffee date downtown with a girl who seemed much nicer on the web. But IRL she was really sketchy and clearly she had spent the lockdown doing all the drugs. It was a new low for me. Apparently some women can have profoundly poor hygiene and also apparently there are smells that I am unable to power through. I wouldn't even judge a little body odor if it was just that. I mean, she could be nervous or just forgot the deodorant or something if that were the case, but I'm talking a foul miasma that lingered in my car for a couple days. Somewhere between horse girl and smash player. She also didn't wear underwear because of it being too much of a hassle. Mystery of stuff.